While the pole vaulters are still curled up in bed and the football players have yet to crack open an eye, there is one team out training at 5.30 a.m. five days a week. Meet the University of Oregon's club crew team. They may look tough, but for rowers, they're actually pretty small most under six feet. We are really short, um, and rowing is a game of inches, so if you're tall, you can get more reach. Height matters. A single inch can make all the difference in a 2K race. You add two more inches for every stroke, and when you take 200 of them times eight, you get boat lengths on teams just by having an extra inch but what they lack in inches, they make up for in self-confidence. So if you would like to zoom in on my biceps, you can see, whoa dude, you can see that it's not the size of the dog, but the size of the fight in the dog. And so I, I don't feel that we're underdogs. I feel that we have to work harder on technique and focus more on technique being technically sound instead of powerhousing through a two game. Yeah. And if we do that, I think we can compete with these other teams out here. We don't just row, we fly. Fly in the water. Yeah. It's true, we fly. Like any rowing team, the eight rowers and their coxswain must work together. The, the key to success for a team is, is having the unity. Um, when they get in a boat, all four or eight of them have to be doing the exact same thing at the exact same time um, to really get the boat to move well through the water. With crew, you can actually feel the unity when all the people in the boat are together and it feels effortless every stroke that you take. So what draws people to a sport with such a grueling practice schedule? Crew is an amazing break from reality, just to go out and give everything you have for a practice and let your mind just kind of relax and to see the sunrise and to see the stars and to be out on a lake at six in the morning, it's really liberating. Max and I, we met freshman year. Max said he was going to uh, join the crew team winter term and I really want to stick with Max so I was like whatever I'm just gonna join the crew team as well. I didn't know anything about it. I hadn't gone to practice like he did. Um, I just kind of showed up winter term really early in the morning and everyone was crazy and working out really hard and I just kind of fell in love with it. Uh, so my sophomore year in college, I went down to San Diego and I went to the San Diego Crew Classic, which is a big regatta. And I instantly fell in love. Everything about the boats, the coxswain yelling, the oars entering the water, and everyone just super intense. I loved it. I knew I had to do this up at Oregon. I love how no matter how hard you pull, how good your technique gets, you're never good enough. And you can never achieve a spot where you're satisfied. I just love working hard. Uh, I love the camaraderie with my teammates. I love reaching the point where you want to quit. Everything's telling you no, but you'd rather pass out and go to the hospital than give up on your teammates and let your boat down. Even though it's eight intensely passionate guys working as one, they have different roles. You have your stern pair, which is your stroke seat, and then his follow. You have your bow pair at the bow of the boat, the end. And you have the four people in the middle are the engine room. Those people are just there to pull as hard as they possibly can. They're usually your biggest, strongest people. And then your two pairs at the end, both stern and bow, are there for form and finesse and to set the pace of the boat. They're really there to help the boat be perfect so that the engine room can pull the boat through the water. Then there's the coxswain. I am the one who motivates the boat. Um, it's kind of like a mini coach. I'm out there watching them, making sure that they're doing everything correctly, keeping them motivated, doing the pieces, 
And in races, it's a lot of steering. After months of training, the team goes to Portland for a friendly competition with some Northwest club teams. After a day of races, Oregon comes out on top. But despite today's success, they know they'll face much stiffer competition in one week in Sacramento, California at the WIRA Regatta. Will their training and dedication be enough? This weekend, we raced six other crews. They're really fast. Um, I'd be happy with the top three. I think we have a good chance of getting third. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous, but I'm excited. Uh, my heart's gonna be beating very fast at the start. I think we're gonna do well. We're going up against some good crews, a lot of crews from Southern California, schools like OCC, UC San Diego, UC Santa Barbara. Um, but I think we're gonna do pretty well. We just need to focus, get some length, and I think we'll do pretty well. Uh, this weekend, it's going to be tough. We haven't really gone against competition like this. Um, there's just really no way to know how well we're going to do. And we've been getting better every day this last week. We've taken seconds off our 2K time every day. So I'm just excited to see how hard we're going to pull. The big day arrives. The team warms up and mentally prepares to face its competition. They have no illusions about how tough it's going to be. Our coach once told us that a 2K is physically equivalent to two NBA games in six and a half minutes. And then they hit the water. Over the next six and a half minutes, the only team member with a clear view is the coxswain. We're ready. Empty your minds. Just do what you know you can do. We have alignment. Like orange coast. Sing ready at half slide. Lucy Davis. UCLA. Washington State. Attention. UC Santa Barbara. UC Irvine. Oregon. Attention. Go. Try. Here we go. Lane quick. Half. Bridging. Three quarters. Lengthen. And full high 20. One, back it in, two, three, shot, four, gentle catches, five, six, shot, seven, eight, back it in, eight, shift in, two. Oregon gets off to a good start two, and rows faster than ever shot. before. Two, but it's shot. not enough. Three, At the halfway mark, four, seven, they trail in three, last two, place. That's one. Unleash it! They want to walk all over you. Shah! You're going to show them here that nobody walks over you. Shah! Not here. Shot, not ever. Shot, two. Here we go. Catch, when you when you get to catch about 1,000 meters in, so you're halfway done. You know you need to do exactly what you just did for another three and a half minutes or so. Uh, it's a feeling of complete despair and pain. Rowing is the hardest sport I've ever done. It's the hardest sport anyone will ever do. <laughs> And two, bust it out. 25 strokes left. Two, shot. Five, shot. Six, nice and long. Seven, eight, shot. Nine, here we go. One, two, nice and quick. Three, rigid. Four, shot. Five, shot. Eugene's encouragement pays off and Oregon achieves a personal record, the team's fastest 2K time ever. But they still finish in last place. The small feisty team has been outperformed. I was pretty disappointed at the end. Um, like the other guys in our team, I think we rode a good race, but it was, it's hard to 
get beaten by those schools who are really good. And it just shows where we are as a program right now that, I mean, we can be in the same race with them, but we're just not quite as good. Good race, all crews on two. One, two. Good race, all crews. Oh, good race, boys. We gave it our all. Yeah, I was happy with our boat, even though we didn't do well, you know, compared to the other boats, but I think, feel like we rode a really good race. Everyone was giving their all, so I'm pleased with our effort. But the team is not giving up. They're planning to make some changes for next year. They're going to amp up their practices and increase recruitment. I'm not too worried about getting large people, even though that's a common, common thing, is just to recruit big guys. I just want more people, as many people as we can get on both sides, men and women, just because that's how you build your program. We're going to be competing against some of the best rowers, you know, on the planet, and that we need to really be prepared and represent Oregon well. The biggest thing is that everyone on the team is dedicated to the team. There's uh, no half-assed commitments. It's all in, and I think when everyone on the team is like that it creates a culture of success that everyone can buy into and that other people want to buy into. For the Ducks it means many more early practice sessions. While the world sleeps they will be working hard to build a team that's not about height but is all about grit. Describe waking up at 4.30 in the morning in one word. Agonizing. Challenging. Uh, unforgettable. Insane. Lovely. A string of profanities. Trouble. Horrendous. Painful. Um, jarring. Undescribable. Yawn. Painful. Ready. Uh, struggle. <laughs> Normal. Delightful. Easy. Decrepit. Delicious. Not that bad. <laughs> Unenjoyable. Brutal. We left it semi-enjoyable. It's hyphenated. Tough. Undescribable. <laughs> wow. Habitual. Difficult. <laughs> Meh. <laughs>